What is an electrical arc? It occurs when electricity passes through air, such as static electricity, arc welding, or lightning. So, what is an arc flash? It occurs when uncontrolled high-voltage electricity jumps the air gap between electrical components, releasing an enormous amount of light, heat, and sound. As shown by this video, rather than a shock, it is an electrical explosion capable of causing third-degree burns, blindness, hearing loss, nerve damage, cardiac arrest, and death. Arc flashes can best be avoided by exercising caution wherever electricity is used, particularly around high-voltage panels and equipment. Arc flashes are commonly caused by carelessness. Worn or broken conductor insulation, exposed live components, loose wires and connections, worn or broken conductor insulation, improperly maintained switches and circuit breakers, high-voltage cables, static electricity, or damaged tools and equipment. The most common hazard are obstructed electrical panels and water or liquids stored near electricity. Arc flashes are best prevented by establishing and maintaining safe boundaries around high-voltage equipment. This consists of three zones, where distance and PP are determined by the voltage in use. The limited approach boundary is the minimum safe distance from an energized system for unauthorized personnel, materials, and objects. Based on 480 volts, this is 42 inches or 1,000 millimeters from electrical equipment. The limited approach boundary is indicated by floor demarcation adjacent to the electrical panels. Any unauthorized personnel or objects within this area contravenes OSHA and NEC guidance. Only qualified personnel wearing the appropriate PPE can enter the restricted approach boundary. Based on a 480 volt panel, this boundary begins at 12 inches or 300 millimeters from electrical equipment. The prohibited approach boundary for a 480 volt panel is 1 inch or 25 millimeters from electrical equipment and very much limited to qualified personnel wearing the appropriate PPE and specialized training.